So I hadn't really planned to make this video, but on a previous video of mine, a lot of you asked how I made this type of sound and actually realized I didn't really make a video, I think. So let's jump into it. So today we are making this kind of stab. Here I use it in the melodic techno context, but you can use it for peak time, industrial techno. Uh, I will show you how you can really personalize it. All right, so we're gonna grab wave table. We're gonna copy the MIDI pattern, which is basically just A and H sharp. You have this rattling effect. You have to put your grid in 32 and so like this, you can get this effect. And then that is just going up. So for the waveform, we're gonna go to noise and select bad beats and crank it up. So this doesn't really matter. I actually really recommend you to experiment with different wave table type to get different tone. First thing which is important is to activate the unison in classic and we're gonna put eight voice, but no amount. We don't really want this kind of chorusy effect. We just want the stereo. Uh, we're gonna put it in mono. Now on the original sound, I apply some FM and I'm gonna put negative 100. So you can see that that one of the first things is that with this tab, they are quite like kind of FM sounding, wave folding sounding as well sometimes. So that's a great thing to play with. Obviously with Ableton wave table, you can play with the wave table position. You can change the wave table. We're gonna go back to bad beats to 100% for now. Now for the amplitude envelope, we're gonna put attack at the minimum, sustain the maximum, and then we can re reduce the release a little bit. But what's gonna really make the sound interesting is to apply a low pass filter here. So I'm gonna choose the MS20 style and the idea is to bring down the filter to kind of muffle the sound. But now we're gonna modulate this filter with a very fast envelope. So it's gonna kind of open the filter very quickly. And every time you play a note, obviously the filter will go back to the minimum and reopen again with the envelope. So we're gonna go to the matrix for that. Make sure you click on frequency to make it appear and we're gonna use envelope 2 to modulate and we're gonna modulate quite a bit 78 percent and we want something very plucky and sharp so attack zero sustain zero and then we don't want any release and we want a short decay so we're gonna leave it around 280 for now now later we can map this to a rack among with the fm amount and the frequency filter also to have more control over the parameter. Maybe add a bit of a drive, just 5 dB, just to crank. Already to start to gain in loudness. Now, one thing I like to do with this type of sound as well, which is very percussive, it's to add a bit of transient. And the great way to do that is to use an envelope modulating the pitch. So we're gonna put 48 semitone and we want like a very, very small envelope. So no release, no sustain. And then it's really like a very short, short GK. If you put too long, you can see, you can start to hear this kind of pitch laser sound. We don't want this at all. We want something very short just to add a bit of transient. If I remove, you're gonna hear. Just add a bit of clickiness at the beginning. All right, so this is great, but now one thing is missing is loudness because we really need to have this more like in your face and powerful. So first we're gonna use saturator and we're gonna use the medium curve. So we can crank up the drive a little bit, but I like to compensate the output also to don't be fooled by the loudness too much neither. So we're picking more or less at the same and we gain in loudness. Then we can add amp just to add this little extra excitement to the sound because amp can be like a bit noisy and buzzy. So that can be useful. We want to be in stereo because we don't want to mono the sound and we're gonna put in clean but we're gonna just adjust a little bit to have like a very subtle effect this is very a little excitement in the high finally is what's gonna really make things loud is using raw which is a multiband distortion so we're gonna use in multiband mode i'm just gonna remove the compression but here i use this device because I can independently push the mid and the high to make them louder with distortion and that's actually one way to make things very loud and bright. So for the low I'm gonna use the fractal a little bit around 17%. Then for the mid I'm gonna use the tube around 50%. So now we can start to hear it's a little bit too much. Maybe we can start to already reduce the dry weight a little bit. Now for the high, I'm gonna use the polynomial and we're gonna crank it quite a lot with 70%.
Now that's a bit a lot, so I'm gonna reduce the dry wet. Usually sometimes what I do is I go back from zero and I count it up until I have a value of I like. Okay, now nice. maybe I'm gonna come back to the frequency and uh, reduce a little bit the... Yeah, the envelope. Now we can add a bit of reverb. I'm gonna use Ableton Hybrid Reverb and I'm just gonna use the algorithm. Keep the dark hole. Okay, reduce the decay. Crank up the size, crank up the, the damping, crank up the shape. And we're gonna reduce the dry, the dry wet. And we crank up the. Just IQ a little bit the reverb, just to. Like that. Okay, one final thing is missing that I like to do is to use drum bus as the overall processing of the chain. So this is really if you want to get things very, very loud, loud. First things I will do usually is reduce the trim and activate the compressor and then adjust the trim. All right, here we can leave to, to the max so we get very loud. We can... Like here, the point is really to gain some loudness. So don't be shy. I'm gonna use crunch to add a bit of mid high. And then I will use transient negatively. It kind of shut down the tail of the reverb a little bit, act as a kind of a gate. And yeah, way much brighter, maybe. Okay, and we have pretty much our sound. Now, other thing you can do is, if you wanna make it your own, depending on the style you're making, is change the wave table. Here, I use the distortion clip sweep, and I use some folding. You might need to pitch it down the more you fold. Another thing you can do is to use a high pass filter, a bit resonant. You might wanna also sometimes modulate this filter with the envelope to kind of create a band pass filter. And yeah, then you can do like I did for this preset where you can like map your favorite parameter onto the macro so you can modulate it along the track to add variation. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So you can grab the preset for free, the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.